Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based on Adobe Illustrator. It's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how to create a spherical Terrasact pattern logo idea that you can use in many forms of graphic design. Okay, so I'm just going to use my selection tool now, select everything, and just press backspace to remove. First, is I, first of all, what I need to do is create a triangle. So I'm going to use the polygon tool here. Just click on the artboards and dictate my sides to three. And I'm going to make sure that's probably around 50 pixels and press OK. Let's just remove that fill there. Let's apply a little bit of a stroke. Like so, I'm just going to resize this to about a point like so. With my polygon tool, I'm just going to click on every single point of the triangle and increase the size to six. Let's bring this down to about 20 pixels and let's press OK. Wonderful. What we'll do is we'll do the same here, like so. Just click on the anchor point there. Enter. Lovely. Enter. So now I'm just going to make sure these have a fill color in them of white. So let's press Shift and click that one, Shift and click that one. And let's just make sure they have a fill color of white in there. Okay, so I'm just going to make this smaller by pressing Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and Shift as well at the same time. Just resize to a point like that using my mouse. And then what I'm going to do is move this over here, like so. And I'm just going to duplicate it by pressing Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows to a point like so. Click and drag with the mouse and then release. And now I can simply press Command D to continue that or Control D on Windows to continue that. Also, now I'm going to select everything like so. Fantastic. And we're going to come now and duplicate it by using the same shortcut Alt on a Mac or Option on Windows. Uh, also, Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to a point like so. Wonderful. And now we're going to select everything again and the same shortcut Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to a point like so. And now we just simply press Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows to continue that pattern. Now, I need to select everything like so and save this into my symbols. So I'm just going to click and drag it into my symbols window here, like so. And let's say we call this new sphere pattern, like so. Wonderful. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just probably press backspace to remove that. I'm going to create our ellipse here. And I'm just going to create my ellipse by pressing Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point and Shift as well to keep it nice and proportionate. Let's remove our stroke and apply a color to our fill. And using our direct selection tool, I'm just going to select that anchor there and remove it by pressing Backspace. Now, with that selected, I'm now going to come to Effect 3D and Materials, and we're going to use 3D Classic and we're going to use Revolve. And then if we come to Map Art here, we have our symbols options, and then we got our new symbol here that we can new sphere pattern symbol that we can apply like so. Wonderful. And what I need to do now is just scale this up to fit our whole triangle, our whole shape like so. And now if we press OK and press OK again, as you can see, guys, we have created it. I'm just going to expand it by pressing Object Expand, and there you have it, guys. That's how you create that sphere like pattern within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website, blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, guys, please take make sure you take a look at our recordings that come out on a weekly basis. There's some really cool stuff on there. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next.